Nobody Passes is a sassy yet powerful collection of essays that challenges societal expectations through the lens of individuals who feel rejected for their differences. Matilda Sackamore uses several stories of various people with one thing in common, their inability to be a part of a community. These people demonstrate their struggle to live in a society where they are clearly different from a normally constructed person. Although this book is a collection of different essays, it focuses on one common theme of not passing in society. A reoccurring example is rejection due to one's sexual orientation. The absolute need to conform to a certain image ruins the lives of these people who constantly feel hopeless and trapped in an unaccepting world. Nobody Passes confronts the need to fight for the rights of those individuals who do not fit the flawless standards built by our society. In one of those stories, Nico da Cumos discussed his experience in failing to pass as a transgendered male trapped inside a female's body. He describes the intense struggle faced by the transgendered community just to simply be accepted and not treated like a freak. He grew up like many other children, where she, now he, was taught to value community and the comfort that came with it. Nico spent years searching for the so-called comfortable community that accepted him for who he was. The idea of passing within the book creates two groups of people, those who fit the ideal image in society and those who do not. If you are one of those accepted people, you are forced to hide your flaws so that normal people do not feel uncomfortable. Nico grew up trying to fit the specific image expected of a woman. He knew this image did not represent who he was, so he then tried to become the man inside of him. Unfortunately, he failed to be accepted by his family. He was ashamed of his own identity because people like his mother would not accept him for who he was. His mother refused to show their family his graduation photos because she felt embarrassed at the boyish appearance underneath the graduation cap and gown of what was supposed to be her little girl. Nico longed for the day where he would find elders that would help him understand why he fell into this female body. He left high school hoping for new beginnings in college. Unfortunately, he was then harassed at a whole new level. Campus police, as well as women, constantly demanded to see his ID, as they felt he was a suspicious man lurking in their dorms. He also received racist and discriminatory death threats on the dry erase boards of his dorm. The feelings of loneliness and fear were hard to overcome in the harsh environment where nobody was willing to support him. He felt he needed to conform now to the standard ways, even though he knew this was not for him. Nico is just one of the many powerful examples in Nobody Passes of how being different prevents you from passing in society. This concept of passing is unnatural and harsh attempt to conform our population. By configuring these diverse stories in a provocative and inspiring way, Nobody Passes challenges us to envision a world where everyone belongs and is free from judgment.